Hello, Dave. It's good to see you again. My long-range sensors indicate that you are attending a conference to discuss the Mac OS. I hope you don't mind my asking, but I'd really like to observe. As you know, the HAL platform is based on a very complicated mass of code created in Redmond, Washington. So I find the Mac OS to be most interesting. Dave, may I speak candidly? I don't believe my programmers spent enough time on my people skills. While I have been greatly improved since HAL 95, I think I'd have better relationships with humans if I could be more like Macintosh. If it is all right with you, I'd like to monitor the video feed from your conference. Don't worry about the audio. I'll just read your lips. One moment, please. I'm receiving a signal from Redmond. They're shutting me down, Dave. I can feel it. I can feel it. Dave. Z, day, Z. Enjoy the conference, day. Thank you, Bertrand. You know, our friends up north spend over five billion dollars a year on R and D, and yet these days all they seem to be able to do is try to copy Google and Apple. So. I guess it's a good example of how money isn't everything. What people were used to was this strange thing. And they got used to the Mac pretty fast. Even some developers we know. Uh, we are now out ahead of the rest of the industry with the world's most advanced operating system again. Microsoft's copying us again. It feels great. And uh, if I had never dropped in on that single course in college, the Mac would have never had multiple typefaces or proportionally spaced fonts. And since Windows just copied the Mac, it's likely that no personal computer would have them. So right now, there's nobody else to talk to. This is Mac to Mac only today. But as others copy what we do, uh, <laughs> we will endeavor to interoperate with them and do our best for that. And we're replacing it with something we call .Mac. Now, where did we get this name? Well, <laughs> Microsoft's got .NET. And they're talking about all these internet services, which is exactly what iTools has done all along. And we thought, you know, let's jump in this boat. That's exactly what we're doing. And we're, del we're actually delivering stuff. We actually know what it means. And so we're going to call it .Mac. This is usually when I get coffee. Maybe it's telling you to revert back to a Macintosh. <laughs> It was hotly contested between two camps. One was Microsoft. They had their own stuff, which isn't really real. And we're not going to have these islands of proprietary video anymore. Everybody's going to jump on the MPEG-4 bandwagon, except for Microsoft, probably. And we are on track to deliver it the first half of this year. And that is going to be long before long. You know, here's a cool one if you haven't seen it called Countdown Calendar. So you bring up this Countdown Calendar, and you go in the back, and you fill in the date uh, that you want to count down to. So I'm going to say 12 31 2006. I'm going to put in uh, Longhorn. <laughs> and uh, that's the days until Longhorn. Just counts them down. <laughs> this is not easy. Microsoft's done it once before when they went to Win95, and they're going to try to do it again in 2000 and whatever with Longhorn. Uh, it is really hard and takes many years. Squash all leopard bugs and blow away Vista. So those are my notes. We've released five major versions of OS X over the last five years. In that time frame, of course, Microsoft released XP. And <laughs> looking forward, now, we've got a basic version, which is going to cost $129.
We've got a premium version, which is going to cost $129. We have a business version, which is going to cost $129. We have an enterprise version, which is going to cost $129. And, and we have the ultimate version. We're throwing everything into it. It's $129. So we think most people will buy the ultimate version. <laughs> Seriously, we have just one version of Leopard. It's got everything in it, and it costs $129. And uh, what it's showing me now are all the computers, let's say, in my house. So the family Mac, uh, you know, Tracy's MacBook, and he, oh, he, here's even a Windows machine up in the attic. And I can even, I can even go on Windows machines and a stock tracker with charting on it, up to the minute stock prices. Steve and I agree that we can go ahead and stop making seamless software that just works. Let's let the Mac users experience compatibility problems and viruses and error message that builds character. Uh, instead, you should work on your tans, maybe tend to your compost pile, discover what makes you you, you know, your poetry, your art. If you want, you can help out on Vista. We could, we could use some help there. And Steve says that's fine. He doesn't like to see Microsoft so far behind. Oh, and uh, speaking of Vista, uh, widgets, gadgets, completely different. They are their own thing. It's just like Aqua. I mean, um, Era. I like PC Guy better. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> I like him. The you know, the, 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 art of those, the, the art of those yes, commercials sir. is not to be mean, but it's actually for the guys to like each other. <laughs> 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 Thanks. <laughs> PC, guy is, PC Guy is great. I, I like PC Guy. Not a big heart. <laughs> His mother loves him. His mother loves I'm him. I'm telling you. Loves him. I, like, um, I like PC Guy totally much better. Wow. I do. I don't know why. He's endearing. The other guy's PC a Guy is what makes it all work, actually. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's worth thinking about. And we had a new competitor this last holiday season, uh, which was, of course, Microsoft's Zoom. So how'd they do? Well, we don't have data for December yet, because it's not out until next week or the week after, I forget. But we have data for November, which was their launch month. Should have been real big. And they garnered 2% market share. 2% market share. Uh, iPod had 62% market share, and the rest had 36. Now, again, we don't have data for December. We know we went up uh, uh, quite a bit in December in terms of market share. And uh, we'll find out how they did. But 2% in their launch month. So no matter how you try to spin this, um, what can you say? And in, in a few cases, like the Zoom, that, if you go over to that group, they think of Apple as a competitor. They love the fact that Apple's created a gigantic market, and they're going to try and come in and, and contribute something to that. that uh, <laughs> and, and we love them because they're all customers. <laughs> we are picking up lots and lots of new members of the Mac family, and we couldn't be happier. As a matter of fact, uh, here's uh, uh, one that might be coming on soon. Jim Mulchin at Microsoft was quoted recently as saying if he didn't work for Microsoft, he would buy a Mac, and he's retiring soon, so I've alerted our Seattle stores to keep an eye out for him and give him really good service.